Hey my lovelies, welcome back to my channel. As you can see, I have another video for you, something different again. But hey, it's Christmas and variety is good. So today I'm gonna be showing you guys how I make this scrumptious, decadent, delicious, delicious fruit cake, Jamaican rum cake, Christmas cake. It can be used for a wedding cake. Um, black cake all those it has so many names it's common in the caribbean not only jamaica but i've been making this cake for a long time actually since i was 16 17 years old and i make this cake religiously every year and i tell you not because i made it it's absolutely incredible it's delicious so um this batch i'm gonna be doing is gonna give me about eight not eight, four, eight inches. All you have to do if you want a smaller portion that just um, divide the recipe into. I'll also leave it in the description because if you only want two, eight inches, I got you, I got you. So anyways, I'm gonna be showing you guys how I make this delicious cake. And of course, I'll be testing it on camera for you. Okay guys, let's get into it. So in my bowl, I have some currants, prunes, raisins, and mixed peel soaking in rum and wine, of course. I've used Jamaican rum. In the blender, I've added the fruits, as you can see, and I didn't put too much liquid because I don't want it to be too liquidy. I want the consistency to be like this. This is actually perfect. This is how I wanted it. So yeah, that, that's good. Perfect right there. Yeah, so right now I'm gonna be zesting two limes. Please ensure that you don't grate the white part. All you need is the green of the lime. Yeah, and for this recipe, I need two teaspoons of lime rind. I'm adding one pound of unsalted butter to my bowl. And I'm going to be adding three and a quarter cups of brown sugar, as you can see. And I'll be creaming this until it's really light and fluffy. That's what we want. <music> Now that my sugar and butter is light and fluffy, I'm going to be adding my eggs two at a time. In total for this recipe, I'll be adding 12 eggs. So you want to ensure that when you're adding the eggs two at a time, then you cream, then you go and you add two more eggs and you cream. Ensure that you mix the side of the bowl, not mix, you scrape the side of the bowl. You have to do that. That's very important. Yeah, so I'm just adding uh, more eggs until I've added all 12 eggs. So right now I'm adding four teaspoon vanilla, four teaspoon lime juice and two teaspoon lime zest. I'm also going to be adding some browning. I'll be adding the browning slowly until I get the color I desire. So you're just going to mix this in, mix it in really, really well. Also, too much browning can cause your cake to be bitter. So you got to be really careful when you add the browning. So right now I'm adding more browning to my batter. I'm scraping the sides of the bowl to ensure that I get all my batter properly mixed. This is an important step, you guys. You have to do that. So I'm mixing in the browning, mixing in really, really good. Yeah, to see the color I've achieved so far. And I'm going to be adding eight cups of blended fruits. Yeah, you heard that right. I'm adding eight cups of blended fruits. Like I told you, this is a big batch of cake. This is going to give me four, eight inches. If you don't want four, I can always link the recipe in the description box for two, eight inches. So I'm mixing in my fruits really, really well right now. <music>
going in with some more browning in this recipe i used an entire bottle of browning plus one tablespoon so that was actually perfect it gave me the perfect color i wanted so mix this in really really well mix 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 you gotta ensure that you mix the browning well <laughs> So in my bowl, I have four cups sifted all-purpose flour. In the smaller bowl, I have two tablespoon mixed spice, two teaspoon baking powder, and a half a teaspoon of salt. I'm just whisking that to ensure that my dry ingredients are properly combined mixed spice is just a mixture of nutmeg cinnamon and clove so if you have that be sure to combine them so in my batter i'll be adding my dry ingredients and i'm going to be alternating the dry ingredients with the rum and wine so right now i'm adding in the flour mixture as you can see which is the same as dry ingredients and after that i'm going to be going in with my liquid ingredients so I'm going in with some rum overproof rum of course Jamaican old good old rum going in with some wine and then I'm going to be mixing this in total I'm going to be using one and a half cups of rum and two cups of wine alternating with my dry ingredients I should also mention that if you have rose water or almond flavoring be sure to use them i didn't have them because i don't have it um ever since i'm in canada um i didn't i i couldn't find it at this the regular store i don't know maybe i'm gonna have to check amazon but i'm telling you i i've been making my cakes without those and you can't even tell the difference they're really really good so yeah i'm going in with some more flour of course and i'm gonna be mixing this really really well again and now I'm going in with the remainder of the flour That's all we need for this this recipe no more and I'm just going in with my mixer to ensure that there is no flour pockets in my in my cake when they're baked yeah you got it that's important too yes I'm mixing in mixing in mixing in and then this bad boy is ready for the oven
there you have it my lovely peeps i'm going to be baking in batches of two i've poured the batter in lightly greased and floured baking thins and my oven is already preheated at 325 degrees fahrenheit i'm going to be testing these after an hour so guys the cake is ready to be tested who's ready you see how good this looks you see how good that looks absolutely amazing so i'm ready turn it this way I'm speechless. It's so good, you guys. It's so moist and flavorful. Perfect amount of wine, perfect amount of rum, perfect amount of flour. Like, this cake is a dense cake. It's very rich. This is how it should be. I did use a lot of flour because I like it like this I like it really moist not too too tight you know sometimes people make this and it's too tight I don't like it like that this is great so good mmm rich I think I said this before, but fun fact, most Jamaicans, when they marry, this is the wedding cake of choice. They make this for their wedding day and they just get someone to decorate it. Yep. It's really good. So moist. Oh wow. <laughs> Anyways, you guys, I hope you try this recipe. I hope you do. I hope you do, like I tell you. Christmas is not Christmas without this cake in my house. Yeah, I make this amount every year sometimes times two yes sometimes instead of four cakes eight cakes so yeah it's very good all right guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video please give me a big like if you did leave me a comment too i'd love to hear from you share and subscribe if you haven't already have you subscribed yet what are you waiting for subscribe and come join us <laughs> anyways guys i'm gonna leave you now and remember i tell you all the time you're beautiful you're fabulous and you're worth it bye guys <laughs>